Hi there. Hi, welcome to Traders Talk, and this is uh, Ming Hon, your host for the day. All right. Okay. 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 Um, if uh, you can hear me, give me a thumbs up uh, so that uh, we can actually start uh, today's uh, session. Uh, and of course, uh, uh, I mean, um, things have not changed much uh, from last week. Uh, and of course, uh, this week is even more exciting. As we speak right now, okay, if you are listening to me, uh, then uh, <laughs> perhaps uh, you are not listening uh, to uh, the Fed Chair uh, Jerome Powell because uh, the uh, Fed Chair is, of course, uh, also uh, live uh, uh, on stream right now on, 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 on YouTube <laughs> because he is actually giving his speech. In fact, uh, this week itself, I think uh, there are actually uh, almost every day uh, the... the uh, the uh, the Fed members are all uh, uh making uh, their speeches. I think they are uh, almost uh, every day that there is someone who is actually going to open their big mouth, yeah. <laughs> and of course, uh, uh, I think uh, right now uh, the 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 uh, uh the Fed chair have just spoken and the market has uh, actually slightly gone up. Uh, the futures have actually slightly gone up. Uh, and of course, uh. Uh, uh, perhaps uh, later uh, when he actually stresses about the pain points that where the people will actually uh, suffer uh, with uh, all the uh, tightening that the Fed is actually doing, right? Then, of course, uh, the market will continue to fall. And uh, we are actually also at a very critical level. Uh, if you have actually uh, followed us uh, last week or even read our newsletter, uh, which we showed yesterday, uh, we are actually at a very uh, critical uh, turning point, okay? Is either we uh, continue to go down uh, through the to, through the floor, right? Through the floor, or uh, we 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 can uh, have a slight uh, relief uh, from the uh, I mean um, drastic drop uh, for the last uh, last uh, last month, yeah, uh, yeah. So uh, welcome uh, for those who have uh, just uh, joined us. Um, this is actually. A show where we actually talk about the uh, U.S. stock market in particular, uh, U.S. stock market in particular, and of course, uh, our show focuses on uh, trading the stock market uh, using uh, options. Yeah, using options. So for those guys uh, who are keen to actually uh, learn to trade options, uh, learn to actually get into the market, uh, and also uh, want to uh, improve their 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 trading skills and learn more, then of course, uh, this is the show for you guys. Yeah. Um, of course, besides this show, we have uh, other avenues where we actually share uh, all our information and all our trade secrets. <laughs> My trade secrets, yeah. Uh, of course, uh, we have the newsletter which we issue uh, every week uh, to our 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 uh, subscribers to our subscribers, uh, yeah. And uh, and of course, uh, you can subscribe uh, uh, for the. Time being, I mean, uh, we are actually giving this, still giving this out uh, for free. Yeah, you can actually uh, subscribe uh, through the link here. Subscribe through the link here. Uh, and of course, uh, besides that, uh, we have also started uh, another channel, uh, which is actually uh, uh, a TikTok channel, where we also actually uh, give uh, uh, some uh, contents uh, regarding uh, trading, trading and. Uh, for those who actually want to learn more uh, and also um, look at uh, what uh, we trade, look at what we trade uh, and learn from there, then of course, uh, it can also be a good uh, avenue for, for you guys. Yeah. Okay, so uh, let's get uh, back to, let me see. Okay, uh, let me just check something here. Okay, can you guys uh, see me? Okay, I think, yeah, it's okay. So I'm just uh, watching the screen there. Okay, oh, so uh, let's get to the uh, market. Let's uh, just move out uh, to the market and just look at uh, what has actually um, happened. Uh, let me share the screen, share the screen. Share screen, share this. Okay. Okay. Let me just make this up. Let me make myself uh, smaller here. Uh, maybe here. Yep. Okay. 
So if you can actually see the screen, right? Uh, this is the uh, S and P uh, five hundred. Uh, let me just do this. This is the S and P five hundred, and of course, uh, yesterday uh, we had uh, we had a, a, a red day, a slight red day, I would say, uh, uh, dropped by one percent, thirty eight points down. Uh, nothing, nothing uh, drastic, nothing, nothing uh, uh, serious, right? Uh, and of course, uh, if you look here. Let me see this. Okay, okay. If you look this, of course, uh, it's it's not so nice candle. Uh, it's uh, a bit uh, bearish, and of course, the uh, earlier last Friday we we actually tried to rally back up, right? Uh, uh, and then uh, of course uh, yesterday, uh, the 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 signs were were not too great. Probably, of course, uh, also because of uh, this week, uh, the the there are actually too many people uh, talking, starting with the. The, the the Fed chair right uh, today, uh, then of course uh, the the uh, market might have a certain uh, risk on uh, this week, and uh, any rallies uh, would be um, uh, followed on by uh, a sell off. Even the intraday rallies would also be covered by uh, a sell off. If you look at uh, the price action uh, yesterday itself, uh, just let me get this out. If you look at the price action uh, yesterday, right? Okay, here. Yesterday itself, uh, this was the yesterday one. Yep. So if you look at the price action yesterday, yeah, we started uh, here, uh, 27, no, this is 26, 20, yeah, here. So we started here, right? Uh, we started here. Uh, we actually uh, open gap down, yeah. Then of course, uh, we continue to actually go up uh, all the way, and uh, uh, we we reached this. And of course, after that, we we had a, a, a sell off, uh, and of course, we rallied back, and we ended the day also down, yeah. So this was the uh, intraday uh, price action. Uh, quite interesting because uh, we have basically uh, uh, gone back. Uh, here we have actually uh, lost, went down even below uh, the uh, the uh, the opening below the uh, opening here. Yeah. So uh, I think uh, uh, more so this week. Uh, this is the kind of uh, volatility, mid -day, daily volatility, which you you will actually uh, see uh, in the market. So of course, uh, for those who uh, trade uh, intraday then uh, this is actually uh, some good opportunities uh, for you to actually uh, do uh, your trades. And of course, uh, if you see uh, uh, po uh, possibilities of uh, uh, selling on strength, right? Selling on strength, then of course, uh, uh, it, it, you, it can also be uh, quite uh, good uh, good trades uh, if you actually uh, have the correct uh, signals uh, coming, coming in uh, throughout the day, yeah? So this this is the uh, intraday. Okay, let's let's go back to the daily uh, daily charts, right? So uh, we were actually speaking about uh, this uh, this level of uh, three thousand six hundred points uh, earlier, right? Uh, this is actually the level. Uh, what happened? Uh, this is actually the level which we were speaking on uh, here, somewhere around here. Yeah, three thousand six hundred. Yeah, you you look at uh, uh, here. Where I also place a uh, 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 a notification, right? A notification at this line here, which is uh, three three six seven. Yeah, three three six seven. So around three three six seven or three thousand six is actually uh, one uh, critical point uh, to see whether uh, the the uh, the market actually breaks down below, breaks down below, because this was actually the uh, June's uh, previous uh, previous low, previous low. Uh, before before we actually had the uh the the, the strong uh rally for two months yeah this was actually the uh, june uh, previous uh, low yeah june previous low uh before we had this uh, rally which basically uh recovered almost uh, 50 percent of the the uh, total drop from uh, all-time high so if you look at the uh, all-time high which was somewhere around here right here uh, back to the lows is actually uh, about uh, how many points here let's see here here to here is actually about uh, 24 percent or 25 percent uh 
right here to here yeah and of course uh post that uh we had a rally uh which basically uh we rallied up back by uh 16 percent uh and of course basically we we recovered here about uh 20 about about 14 percent yeah about 14 percent we we recovered so in total we have actually dropped to all time low of uh 25 percent 25 percent uh and back to the top here uh we we we, we recovered back about 15 percent about 15 percent uh and at the end uh after the uh, cpi announcement plus uh, after the uh fed rate hike uh, on 21st right uh basically the market uh, have actually gave up uh, uh gave back up the 15 percent uh, recovery from uh from the lows yeah so we are back back here again uh testing this uh, 3600 level testing this 3600 level so of course if you break down then uh, uh you you would actually see uh, more um more people will actually panic if we actually fall uh, below here uh, and of course one of the signs where you actually start to see uh, people panicking is uh, when when your when your phone alerts gets triggered yeah, when your phone alerts get triggered i mean how do you know your phone alerts get triggered uh, let me just uh, try to show you how how do you know uh, when uh, your phone alerts will get triggered yeah um so this is the time where you 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 will actually see uh, how 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 it, let's how it how it looks like or how it sounds like. Okay, if you guys uh, have actually uh, installed uh, this Yahoo Finance, right? So if you have not installed Yahoo Finance on your phone, uh, go ahead and uh, install uh, Yahoo uh, Finance, Yahoo Finance, and then uh, from there basically you can actually put in all your 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 watch list and whatnot uh and and of course uh when you start to hear this kind of a sound uh when you start to actually hear uh, uh so-called buzzing 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 sound buzzing sound that's the time uh that's the time when uh when you know that uh the i i think i recorded i okay maybe yeah it is just buzzing i mean i i've recorded it uh, on my phone but uh, i can't i can't uh, pull it out so if you if you recorded it uh sorry if you have uh, uh installed yahoo finance uh, on on your phone uh you have put in all your 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 stock checklist watch uh, watch list and all and if the if the phone continue to um uh uh, uh buzz or give you the notification uh, every two or three seconds uh, that's that's the time where the maximum panic <laughs> in the market is actually happening yeah because uh, uh last week itself uh, what has happened is that the, there are actually a lot of stocks which actually gone to their 52 weeks low yeah there's actually a lot of stocks gone to their 52 weeks low uh, and of course uh, this uh, includes the uh, the the big the big names uh, like uh, what is that like um um Nike, uh, Nike, uh, uh, what is that? Nike, uh, I think, uh, Visa also went 52 weeks. Uh, uh, what is that? Mastercard, uh, AMD, um, uh, what is Facebook, uh, Meta, yeah, uh, SE, uh, HP, Hewlett Packard, and and a lot, a lot, all, all of them are actually now, uh, at the 52 weeks low, and of course, uh, a lot of uh, the stocks, uh, uh, has also uh, lost um, basically values uh, from 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 the time uh, so called uh, pre covid uh, pre covid uh, pre post covid till now uh, basically they have also a uh, lot have actually gone back to uh, pre covid time or pre covid time uh, uh, stock prices yeah so of course uh, for those uh, who who have actually held on uh, to uh, to the to their investments or to their stocks, right? I hope that uh, during this uh, this downtime, uh, you had also uh, took some opportunity to actually uh, uh, put on uh, some uh, great stocks for your your investment uh, portfolio. Right? Yeah. So of course, uh, we do not know when when will the uh, bottom be whether uh, it breaches back this below this three thousand six level. But of course, uh, 
uh, I mean, uh, yeah, this this is this is all uh, due to the current uh, situation of the uh, the high uh, increase uh, in interest rate, uh, and then the uh, Fed policy to actually uh, uh, do or die kind of uh, policy, right? Uh, to to actually uh, manage the uh, manage the uh, inflation, manage the inflation. Yeah, so market seems to be up. Yeah, that's good. So uh, yeah, this is the thing which we need to watch. Uh, and of course, uh, on the uh, uh, weekly chart also, you also see a significant uh, level. Uh, oh, I forgot to share. Uh, let me share again uh, to, to you guys. Uh, so on the weekly charts also, you, you also see a significant uh, level. Uh, and of course, uh, that is actually uh, on the on the uh, 200 moving average yeah so this is actually the weekly chart uh, and and this uh, 200 uh, moving average is also a line for you to actually watch uh, that uh, we don't uh, break down uh, below this line because for s p uh, 500 right uh, I mean we rarely uh, break below uh, the uh, 200 line. I mean once we break below the 200 this was actually uh, one uh, during the COVID time where we actually broke below, but of course we only broke below for a few days. Uh, for for one, two, three, four, maybe five days, we broke below for five days, uh, and we actually quickly recovered uh, back up. Yeah, but of course for this time round, it's actually a bit uh, a bit different, a bit different because this was actually a a, a so called uh, uh, pandemonium panic <laughs> panic selling uh, kind of thing. Uh, whereas uh, the current situation where we are actually facing is actually going to uh, linger around for the next uh, uh, one to two year. I mean, uh, one to two year at least uh, to to see uh, the the uh, the uh, the uh, economy how it actually uh, uh, is actually going to perform right uh, going uh, going forward uh, with uh, all the things which is actually um, happening uh, around. Yeah. So uh yeah so so uh I mean it, it recovery uh, it won't even if there is actually any a recovery up right I would say that it, it is actually going to be very uh, choppy like. it's actually going to be very choppy it's not going to be uh, one uh, straight uh, up like what had actually happened during uh, during COVID during COVID yeah so of course uh, with this kind of uh, volatility uh, the way we invest the way we trade uh, will also be uh, will also be uh, different yeah. Uh, and of course, uh, we have also uh, changed uh, the methods of where we where we trade, the methods where we trade, uh, where we actually also take less risk. I mean, we have also covered this uh, in, in in many of our our, our um, traders talk, right? Uh, to actually take uh, take let uh, to take less risk uh, on trades, uh, take shorter trades and and whatnot. Yeah, because. I mean, uh, if you see that uh, every two months, uh, it, I mean, every two months it goes up and come comes back to square, right? I mean, basically, uh, it, it is actually going to be how to say it's actually going to be uh, very painful that uh, 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 if you have actually uh, say uh, it uh, went into the market uh, this this low here, uh, and and immediately from there you have actually gained fifteen to twenty percent uh, of whatever you have actually bought. Uh, and two months later, you are basically losing back uh, that fifteen to twenty percent. Yeah, so so that is actually uh, quite uh, quite painful. And of course, uh, uh, some of the ways where we can actually protect this uh, kind of um, um, uh, losses uh, is that uh, during the time uh, when when we are actually holding the shares, we can actually uh, include in uh, to our uh, portfolio some option strategies that can actually protect your long-term uh, long-term uh, portfolio yeah long-term portfolio uh, and of course uh, one of uh, one of it is actually uh, by doing um, by doing covered uh, covered calls uh, is actually one uh, or or by actually doing some uh, form of uh, premium premium selling uh, to actually uh, uh, ensure that during this time you are also uh, making some uh, um, uh, what is that premiums uh, to actually offset some of the uh, some of the uh, losses are uh, coming through from your uh, long uh, long portfolio yeah so protection is one uh, and then of course uh, the I think about uh, about two about two weeks ago uh, we had also uh, covered uh, we have also uh, uh, covered one uh, some strategies uh, I think it was also uh, shown in our 
newsletter, uh, some of the strategies, I think it was maybe uh, here. I think it was in, in one of our newsletter, we have also covered uh, some uh, strategies uh, or neutral strategies. Uh, that, that was one. Uh, and of course, uh, we have also covered uh, one uh, which was actually on a back ratio, yeah, which was actually on back ratio. Uh, how you can actually enter a very, how to say, a very, uh, uh, I would say, uh, a cheap entry, cheap entry as in the price of the option which you actually pay is actually quite cheap. Uh, you can actually structure it uh, at uh, more or less uh, 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 so-called zero cost, or you you get either a small a small debit or. Uh, a, a small credit and of course uh, the the trade which we actually did uh here was actually a spy back ratio um i we actually entered it uh just last week itself only i think on monday last week we entered on monday uh last week uh and this trade basically we only paid uh, 13 cents for this trade yeah we paid 13 cents for this trade uh and and we exited uh i think uh, it was on uh, thursday if not mistaken so about four days uh, uh about four days trade uh, we exited on we entered on 19 and we exited on 23rd 19 was uh, monday and then we exit, exited on friday yeah so so we paid 13 cents for it and we exited at one dollar yeah so we basically made uh about uh, 87 dollars on just a single uh 13 cents trade yeah so of course uh uh why we actually choose this this type of uh, trade is uh because we 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 will only profit uh if the spy spy actually uh, have a big move uh, and of course because of the uh so-called um um the the uh the uh interest rate hike uh which was expected uh a few days after our entry uh and all this uh we basically uh, uh put in um uh, one very low uh and uh, uh cost trade uh with a high potential of uh, profits of course uh, the buying power uh, is a separate matter because the buying power to actually structure this trade is actually quite high yeah it's actually quite high uh, uh because of uh because of the 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 structure which we we, we do here we, i will also go through maybe later uh, how we actually structure this so that you guys can also uh, uh review such kind of um, um, trade structures so the buying power is actually quite high uh, i will go through uh, why the buying power is actually high uh, but of course the amount which we pay is technically very low uh, and i'm not so bothered about the buying power which i also explain uh, later when i show you a trade example yeah so we, we 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 did this uh and and of course uh we exited it uh only um uh in, in in five days of course if we exited later then the gain would have been more because the market has actually continued to uh, drop further uh, after that yeah so uh coming back to here yeah so yeah this was uh yeah so the level uh which we are watching is the also the uh the 200 moving average on the weekly year. Uh, yeah, so this is another level which uh, you guys have to uh, uh, take take a watch. So on uh, Nasdaq, uh, uh, Nasdaq uh, is also similar. Yeah, uh, the, we are currently uh, back to the same uh, level uh, in June. And of course, uh, we are, have gone down for, I think, one, two, three, four, five, six, yeah, six weeks, yeah, six weeks here. Uh, and of course, uh, the 200 moving average is another uh, level for you to watch. Yeah, again, uh, not very often we actually move down to 200. Even during the pandemic uh, time, uh, we have actually not uh, dropped uh, to uh, 200. Yeah, but of course this is a shorter period. This is actually a longer, uh, longer uh, period, uh, period of drop. Of course, if you look at the uh, the uh, amount of uh, drop during the uh, pandemic. Uh, time here uh, it was actually about uh, 30 30 percent right uh, and of course uh, right now uh, the the drop which we have right now is uh, also about uh, 33 percent yeah but uh, more painful because we have actually dropped down for already more than uh, more than nine months yeah uh, coming to nine uh, coming to nine months we have dropped nine months here and of course, this was uh, only uh, this was actually only days, only days, yeah, days. 
So uh, here, uh, 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 very painful for days here, uh, it's like uh, a long sickness. Uh. <laughs> it's like you're having uh, a long sickness uh, for, for, for nine months, you're sick for nine months. So that is actually more painful. Whereas this, uh, you, you are sick for a few days, maybe just like uh, COVID, you're sick for five days. Uh, where you are not feeling well, uh, you are not so comfortable. But after that, uh, you are you are fine. Yeah, so painful, uh, but uh, levels to watch two hundred moving average. Yeah. So the the daily daily chart uh, won't be any much uh, difference. Uh, and of course, this is actually at the level of about uh, eleven thousand one hundred. Yeah, eleven thousand one hundred. Eleven thousand one hundred. Yeah. So not too far. Not too far. Uh, one, uh, one bad, bad, uh, bad news or, <laughs> or bad statement coming out from uh, uh, the 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 chair uh, today uh, will actually bring us there, uh, Bring us there. Uh, hopefully, uh, he will he will try to actually moderate it a bit, moderate it a bit because uh, I mean uh. He, I mean, the, the, the things that they need to do is actually um, uh, known. I mean, uh, uh, how he says it uh, is, is, is another thing on how the uh, market actually interprets, uh, interprets, uh, uh, interprets the, the, the things that, um, that uh, they can actually do. Uh, and of course, if you tone it down, then of course, uh, hopefully the market can uh, bring in some um, recoveries, uh, recoveries uh, in the in, in, in the next uh, in the next week yeah hopefully we don't break down below okay so this is actually on the on the uh on the market yeah so uh we will we will uh go through right now uh the uh the uh, the back ratio uh, which i thought of course right now uh, i do not advise you guys to actually uh enter a a a, a, a bear back ratio a bear back ratio because the 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 market uh i mean because we needed actually uh a, a big move a big move uh from when you actually enter this we need actually a big move i mean uh five percent six percent kind of uh kind of uh, movement uh, uh would actually uh, bring you into uh profitability yeah uh, but of course uh, right now uh i mean uh, chances are uh there is actually a, a support level a support uh, a support level uh, at the 200 moving average uh, uh, if we if we um, hit it and there's chances we can actually bounce up yep so there's some some risk that the market can uh, retrace back up uh, and of course uh, because of that uh, I would I would not uh, enter uh, 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 the back ratio uh, right now yeah last week was actually a different story because we we had uh, more negativity in terms of the market and a higher possibility that the uh, the uh, the, uh, the prices can actually uh, break down yeah so unless you are actually putting it as a as a so-called uh, hedging trade okay you can also use a, a, a back ratio uh, as a hedging uh, instrument because because of the uh, low uh, low uh, how to say a low um, uh, uh, I would not say low cost low entry low entry uh, uh, and, and, and and high uh, profit high profit because uh, the profit can run uh, five times ten times or even 20 times yeah. Uh, then uh, you can actually use this as it as a as a as a hedge instrument uh, for for your for your uh, portfolio or even for your other trades. Yeah, uh, but other than that, uh, if you are actually uh, uh, doing it as a directional trade, uh, probably uh, not now because of the support. Yeah, but of course, uh, uh, if you feel that the market will bounce up strongly because we have actually came down about fifteen percent, uh, we we have lost that fifteen percent. Uh, reversal right if you feel that the the market can actually go up then of course you can actually be bullish also using this back ratio using this back ratio to actually uh buy buy uh uh, 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 uh do a back ratio uh to to for the market to actually go up yeah you can actually structure it uh, on both sides uh whether using a call or a put a call to back ratio to actually uh when you're bullish uh and of course uh put back ratio when you are actually uh, bearish okay and uh, let me go here okay 
let me share my screen here. Yeah, if, if you have any question, uh, by all means, uh, put down on the uh, uh, chat so that I can actually uh, answer them. Um, yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay, I hope you can actually see this. Uh, let me make myself small. <laughs> okay, so uh, this is actually uh, the uh, Tasty Works platform. Yeah, if if uh, I mean basically, uh, this is actually one uh, very good platform. Uh, you can actually uh, also use. Uh, uh, I use multiple platforms, and uh, this is actually one of the platform uh, which I use. Okay, so this is actually on Spy. Yeah? this is actually on Spy. And uh, when we are actually doing back ratio, basically, I, I will I will do at the minimum of about uh, two months, 60 days, uh, 60, 60 days, if not uh, longer, if not longer. OK, uh, do not do a back ratio short, uh, uh, how to say a short, short uh, uh, expiry uh, back ratio. You actually need we actually need to do a longer term. And I will also explain uh, why uh, we need to actually uh, pull the uh, back ratio uh, uh, towards uh, 60 days or more okay so let's say uh, if you are actually bearish uh, uh, let's say you are actually uh, bearish on um, on SPY and you feel that SPY will actually drop significantly uh, from today yeah um, yeah so SPY is actually already currently moving down the futures uh, so you, you feel that it's actually going to go down so what you basically do is uh, on the strike price here uh, you actually look for anything uh, 60 days or more uh, and I would take the monthly expiry because of the liquidity uh, let's put it at 52 days yeah this is actually closest to 60 yeah so if you do uh, here you open up the uh, options chain you'll see all the strike price so it's actually very simple and of course in in, in, in trading of uh, options right basically uh, it is only uh, I would say um, um, how to do uh, it, it's only like playing Lego okay if you actually understand uh, 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 how to actually uh, 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 how to say puzzle each of the Lego together, you can actually form a car, form a ship, uh, form a house, and you can actually form a lot of things. The same uh, uh, in in options. Uh, it is it is just putting on uh, uh, the 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 calls, the the, the buy call, uh, the sell put, the sell put, and the buy put. Yeah, and of course. Uh, each four of uh, these would actually have a different kind of direction. If you are bullish, then basically you are talking about buying a call or selling a put. If you are bearish, then you are talking about buying a put or uh, selling a call. Yeah. So you only need to understand these four uh, so-called... Um, uh, actually, there's only two directions and, and which of the uh, uh, options buy or sell give you uh, uh, that direction up or that direction down so that is as simple as that okay so once you actually understand uh, the direction uh, of all these uh, uh, options right then of course it is actually quite easy for you to actually uh, 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 make structures uh, out of uh, out of uh, uh, the 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 the, the uh, strategies yeah so for example uh we, we when we do a back ratio basically uh, it involves uh, uh, a, a a bearish back ratio it involves selling a put okay selling a put okay selling a put is uh is selling a put is actually a bullish direction all right <laughs> so but so you, we need to actually uh, uh do a sell put first uh, and of course, uh, because our direction is bearish, right? Then of course we need to actually uh, add this on uh, the building blocks, right? Something which is uh, uh, bearish, yeah. And and of course, uh, how to actually do this? Basically, we need to buy uh, buy buy puts, buy puts, yeah, buy puts. And uh, when we actually do that, so uh, the first thing we shall do, uh, I will make it very simple for you guys. Is uh, the first thing you do is you sell a put at at the money. At the money which is now uh, 364 yeah 364 so of course if you do this you actually collect 15 dollars you actually collect 15 dollars so how what you do with this 15 dollars is to actually use this 15 dollars to buy two puts to buy two puts okay so uh 15 dollars uh you if you divide by two is 750 right so 750 uh, because you need to buy two man. 
So you just run down this uh, this uh, this options chain here until you find something close to seven fifty. Okay. So close to seven fifty is either seven uh, uh, three four two because this is uh, seven eighty one. You need to pay seven eighty one, and this you need to pay uh, seven thirty three to to buy. Okay. So uh, I will actually just choose. Uh, uh, let's say I choose uh, this as uh, 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 340 strike where I will actually need to pay 733 for one put. Yeah. So then uh, I would actually need two, right? So what I do is I add the contract. So this is one, I add two. Yeah. So when I do this, uh, basically, uh, I would actually need to pay uh, credit. Uh, I would actually collect, I will actually collect 48 cents for this. I will collect 48 cents for this trade that means i don't technically i don't even need to pay for it uh, uh i will collect 48 dollars into my account yeah and the probability uh of profit for this trade is 63 percent and basically uh the uh what else uh did, 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 here yep yeah here yeah here so here uh the max loss uh is actually two three five two okay so this max loss is actually your buying power. That's why I said uh, I try to segregate buying power and the uh, amount which I, I I collect or I pay for for this trade. And I I'm not so uh, troubled by this buying power because I need to actually uh, 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 how to say I will only get the max loss uh, if uh, if certain of the parameters are actually hit for this trade. And I will ensure that I do not hit those uh, parameters. I will not let the trade hit those parameters where I will actually run into a max loss. Yeah. Okay. So the uh okay. So what the uh, curve right? The curve will actually show is this. Yeah. So currently we are at this level. We our price is around is at this level about three six four right? Three six four here. Yeah. So we are here. Uh, and basically, this would be the uh, risk profile uh, of your trade. Okay, so if the S and P uh, actually goes down, you will actually make uh, make profit, make profit. Yeah. Of course, if it goes down below uh, three 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 one five, then here is all the green. You will actually make make a lot of profit. Yeah. But we are not really playing this uh, green uh, green line. That means basically till expiry green line. We are basically pay, paying this theoretical uh, uh, line in orange here. Yeah. So this line actually uh, moves uh, together with time. Okay. When when time passes, right? What happened to this uh, orange line is that it will actually come down. It will actually come down. Yeah. Uh, that's why I said uh, you will hit max loss when uh, S and P is at three hundred and forty. You will hit max loss. Yeah. But of course, if there is actually a, a fast movement within uh, say days uh days uh when you actually enter the trade uh what happens is that uh, your pnl will still run on this orange line okay as long as this orange line don't drop below uh the 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 the, the loss line here that means drop down below zero and the price continue to drop you will actually make profit yeah so for example if you if you run through yeah if you run through uh here you can actually see that uh the profit you're making here is 17 dollars if it runs to 340 you will make 98 dollars if it runs to 325 i can't see but probably about two or three hundred dollars yeah remember you collected about uh 48 dollars and of course uh technically if you collect 48 dollars uh, any profit which you make technically there's no cost to you uh and because i we are not playing the expiry um uh, p l we we never uh let uh, let time uh, pass until this orange line drop below the uh, loss line. Yeah. So for this kind of trade, yeah, we need fast movement, short period of time, uh, quick pop, and then we actually exit this, exit the trade, and we re-establish and see whether uh, there is actually going to be a huge movement again on uh, SPRY or any other stocks uh, to 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 trade this uh, strategy. Yeah. So. So uh, I, I hope you guys uh, understand uh, the, the, the risk profile here because this is actually uh, very important. And of course, if the trade does not move along the direction which we want for this, which is actually uh, bearish, uh, when, when the trade actually goes up, right, uh, you, you would actually uh, not really uh, lose money. Uh, in fact, if you keep it till expiry, you will actually make that $48. 
But because the rule for this entry is never keep this trip till expiry, uh, we would actually just exit uh, uh, either at a break even or a very uh, small loss. Yeah, because if you see the if it move up above, right? Basically, your PL would be about 24, 17, or 11, or something. Very, very small uh, uh, loss if it moves the other direction, but very big uh, profit if it moves into your direction with a big and huge uh, movement. Yeah. So, so that's uh, that's how uh, the this uh, back ratio, uh, uh, back ratio uh, behaves. Of course, the other thing which you guys need to, uh, how to say, need to take care is the implied volatility. So of course, if the implied volatility uh, changes, that will also uh, affect this uh, this uh, uh, orange line here. It will it will it will actually uh, uh, move uh, up or move uh, move uh, move down. Yeah. So uh, uh, this is how we structure out a, a, a bearish uh, back ratio. Yeah. So if we move out to um, if you move up to uh, the uh, bullish back ratio, it's also similar. So bullish back ratio, very simple, sell a call uh, sell a call at the money, which is $16, and then move down uh, uh, to see uh, how, at which price you can actually buy, buy, uh, buy a call, two calls, uh, with this $16, which is basically at uh, $8, uh, $8, uh, $8 premium. Yeah? So $8 uh, is at this level, 382. So you just need to actually buy two, just uh, add one, buy two. Then you actually uh, pay a two cents debit for this trade, two cents debit for this trade. Uh, and of course, uh, the the uh, max profit, which you, max loss is 1,007, which we don't, won't let it go to that. Uh, and the, um, and the uh, uh, position would be here, position would be here, yeah. Here, yeah. So if you look, if the price pops up, uh, three six five. If it moves by uh twenty, uh, say about twenty points, you will make about four hundred and sixty dollars here. Yeah. To if it moves to about, uh, three eight one. So now it's uh three six four, right? So if it moves about uh uh three eighty, that means basically about uh seven only seventeen dollars up. So if it moves seventeen dollars up, then you will make about uh four hundred dollars which is actually quite good i mean that's why compared to the bearish and the bullish the the chances of a bounce uh is actually higher if you actually want to uh take a uh, low uh, low risk high high uh, returns uh kind of trade then of course the uh for two cents basically you are you are uh, uh have a possibility uh, of uh, the the market to make 460 dollars yeah 460 dollars uh, with uh, with this uh, this trade yeah i think i structured it correctly yeah uh yeah should be should be should be correct yeah but of course again the 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 thing uh make sure uh uh you close the trade uh before this runs down and normally the rule which i take is uh between uh uh five weeks five weeks before expiry i will actually uh, close this trade or even or even uh even uh, shorter uh, sorry uh, or even longer yeah that means i don't let it uh run less than uh, less than a month less than a month uh in fact um uh, if after uh one week or two weeks if i don't see any movements then basically i'll i'll, I'll try to exit this trade uh with with uh with a break even or a small profit i will just exit this trade because not likely that there's actually going to be a pop anymore uh, that is actually going to to happen if it if it just uh, uh, moves up uh, uh, slowly. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So uh, this is the uh, back ratio strategy uh, which uh, which I wanted to uh, uh, share with you guys. Uh, and of course, uh, the the ones which we actually uh, did. Um, earlier was um let me just show you guys again the one which we actually did earlier was here uh the one which we actually did earlier was here yeah you can see here the uh back ratio we did a back ratio on twitter uh twitter on 13th of september 
So 30th of September, of course, that is just uh, speculation that uh, they had the EGM uh, uh, share, uh, shareholders meeting to approve that, right? So we did one uh, to try to see if there's any pop uh, after the meeting, but of course, there was no pop after the meeting. Uh, and uh, for this, uh, we... This we actually end uh, only for small prop, uh, small. I think we paid fourteen cents or something like that, and then we exited uh, with a small profit of about only eleven eleven dollars. If not mistaken, yeah, you uh, here, yeah, yeah. I think we did it at uh, eleven dollars. Yeah, we did a 32% gain, which just makes up to about $11. dollars. Yeah. So this was the uh, back ratio. You can also see the uh, TikTok video, which we, we had uh, on that. And of course, uh, um, as and when we do uh, other trades, uh, we, we, will, we will also try to actually post it. Uh, we did somewhere early September, the uh, Iron Condor on SPY, which we are still uh, holding on the position uh, right now. Um, yeah, right now. Uh, I think about uh, two, three weeks, two over weeks in, yeah, two over weeks in, uh, we're still holding on to the uh, iron condor uh, position. Yeah. So as and when we do the trades, uh, we will try to actually post it uh, on TikTok. So uh, if you have not subscribed uh, to our our TikTok, uh, just subscribe uh, and follow so that uh, when we post uh, our our uh, next uh, trade, you can actually also uh, learn learn from it yeah and we also share the results with you guys okay all right so uh great uh if you have any questions uh, pop it there uh if uh if not then uh we will continue to uh engage with you guys uh on all our channels uh the newsletter coming out every um monday yeah very monday uh, straight to your inbox uh, if you are a subscriber um if you have if you are not not subscribed i think the best way is to subscribe otherwise you can also go to the uh, newsletter um uh, website to actually uh read it yeah uh yeah so it's better to subscribe because uh uh once you subscribe it gets uh, sent to your email you can archive it uh in 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 your uh mailbox and of course all those the uh, um how to say all those um, um trainings or uh, write-ups which we actually do uh are all the so-called uh, trade secrets <laughs> all the shortcuts uh, yeah so I, I, i'm giving you guys all the shortcuts uh, in in our newsletter uh to how to uh, structure and how to actually trade better and what to watch out uh, when you are actually going into uh trades yeah um and this is the uh, tiktok yeah so uh yeah i mean uh, don't forget to uh, like and share uh, our channel uh, because that uh, helps us uh, promote uh, our channel to actually bring in uh, more people uh, to trade because uh, of course uh, one of the thing which uh, quite concern a lot of people uh, right now is actually um, where are we going uh, in the next uh, uh, in the next months or year uh, in terms of the economic stability and all yeah of course uh, if um, if uh, if um, there is actually risk in terms of uh, securing jobs or businesses and all, then of course, uh, if you if you know how to actually uh, generate an alternative for a source of income through trading, then of course uh, that is uh, also a uh, 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 quite a, a good way uh, to actually uh, 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 make 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 a living or make some money uh, for 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 your family and for yourself. Yeah, uh, because. Once you actually learn the skills uh, in in trading, then uh, these skills actually keep um, sticks sticks to you, right? Whether the market actually goes up or whether the market actually goes down, uh, we are all covered. Yeah, like just now we have actually shared with you. Uh, in case you are bullish about the market, you can actually do the callback ratio. If you are bearish about the market, you can actually do the putback ratio. So, we, and if you are neutral, then we can also uh, do the neutral strategies. So you are actually all uh, covered, and we 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 are not really bothered uh, of uh, where the uh, market is actually going. Uh, if you know your stuff and you know uh, what strategies to uh, deploy uh, during what time, yeah. So. Uh, yeah so uh, this week uh just watch uh, carefully uh not 
enter in uh, too uh, too many uh, trades, yeah, because the market is actually going to be a bit uh, volatile. Uh, if uh, someone uh, uh, how to say uh, put his big mouth uh, saying something bad, then of course uh, the market uh, will have a negative reaction, and that is actually uh, uh, going to be bad for the the market. Or if you are on the wrong direction, yeah. So until next week, uh, I catch up with you guys again. Uh, please uh, trade safely and uh, have a good trading week. Yeah, bye bye.